Normally, when you think of weather patterns, you look up to the sky, but during El Nino years, we pay close attention to the sea surface temperatures. In fact, it has major impacts on the globe. This is what it looks like during a normal year. We have stronger trade winds that push warm sea surface temperatures along the equator all the way to Indonesia. They have some storms that fire up there, but during El Nino, you can see that shift in warm sea surface temperatures all the way over the eastern Pacific. In fact, for three consecutive months, our ocean temperature is rising to 0.9 degrees. It doesn't seem like much, but along the equator and on a global scale, that has major impacts especially on the mainland. During winter months, we see the jet stream a little farther to the south. Places like Southern California get substantial rain and flooding, and then other places are stuck in a drought. We will be seeing these impacts likely this winter as El Nino will develop. Here at home, though, that means it's linked to more tropical cyclones crossing into the Central Pacific. And when we look at past records, the number of tropical cyclones have been linked to active El Nino years. Take a look at this 2015 and 2016 very active when it comes to tropical cyclones crossing into the Central Pacific. We had 16, which was a record. And then during El Nino years, we've been seeing above average and the last three years were pretty quiet with La Nina in charge. That's why it's important to pay close attention to what's happening over the oceans as sea surface temperatures rise along the equator. So during El Nino years, we have to be diligent.